Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fadam Hai Channel. I am Yu. Speaking English without translating from your mother tongue is the highest performance that all English learners always wish to have. So, in this video, I will talk about how our brain works, and then provide you three different methods to speak English confidently without translating. So, if you want to improve your speaking skills, please. Watch this video from the beginning into the end. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Our brain has two different parts: the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. So, learning consciously is when you learn with the feeling, with action, with the sense, with. Everything they're doing right now, you're doing with the conscious mind. But learning with the unconscious mind is when you're doing something, when you're learning, and you're doing something without recognizing it. For example, you are very angry with somebody, and how your face look like that. And when you're doing that, your face. You will not recognize that your face would looks very ugly like that, so you're doing it with the control of the unconscious mind. Another example: at the very first time when you learn to drive the bike, how would you feel? Very uncomfortable and uneasy, right? At that time, you try to control the head of the bike by putting into the head into the control. And try to drive it in your way. How about your feet? Your feet tries to push into the clutch pedal to control the bike. How did you feel? Oh my God, it's so difficult. But after a while, when you can drive, it, when you can drive it perfectly, you can do everything simultaneously while you're driving. And have you ever recognized that? When you're driving, you're thinking something in your head about the task that you haven't done at work or study, or and then you're looking around the people, looking to looking at the traffic lights to control the bike, while your mouth is mumbling your favorite song. You're doing everything simultaneously and amazingly. So, which part of the brain helps you to do it without thinking, and you are still Very safe when driving the bike. Your unconscious mind. Learning the English is just the same. Now, answer my question. What is the English for? Xin chào, bạn khỏe không? Hello, how are you? That's easy. Okay, that's easy for sure. But the question is, do you have to think about that? Do you have to translate from? Your mother tongue into in English? No, definitely no. You can immediately say "Hello, how are you?" without thinking. So where, where in your head, where in your brain, these words come from? Conscious mind or the unconscious mind? Unconscious mind. You are right. Your unconscious mind control that part, and you can. Pop up the answer without thinking, without translating. So the only way to speak English without translating is to practice and to put the information, the English information, into your unconscious mind by working really hard with the conscious mind, because the conscious mind occupies only ten percent, and the unconscious mind accounts for another ninety percent. So that's much, much, much larger part that you have to practice. And in the next session of this video, I will provide you three different methods to learn speaking and listening English without thinking too much or without translating a lot, using the unconscious mind for sure. Remember to subscribe to YouTube and wait me a moment, wait me a few seconds. See you, and I will tell you three different methods. Welcome back. So the method number one to speak English without translating 
is to listen passively and actively. Listening passively is a much easier way for the English learner to start with learning English, especially start with the um, listening skills. When you you listen to English passively, you don't have to understand it. You can listen to the radios, talk shows, TED talks, movies, or even music. So you just play these videos day after day, 24 per seven. When you're walking, when you're working, when you're cooking, when you're doing your homework, you can play the video and 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 do it like and listen to that video passively. You don't need to understand it. To practice passively first. So when you practice listening passively, your mind, your unconscious mind, will take that information and put into the unconscious mind. Because the sound that will come to your ear, come to this ear and come to this ear, and and then suddenly you recognize that you can mimic the sound and mimic the intonation up and down very easily. Because the unconscious mind is helping you to do it. Practice your unconscious mind. Some students probably has a stronger desire to understand what the native speaker is talking in the talk shows or in the movie, so they can practice listen actively. They can print out the text, highlight the new word, and try to understand everything that. The speakers talk. The speakers are talking into the show. So learning that way using the conscious mind and it is called like active listening. So you can practice by listening actively if you have time, and if you don't have time, and but you want to create an English speaking environment around you, listen passively. The method number two is shadowing. Shadowing means. You extract a short movie or a short cartoon and try to imitate the way the characters are speaking. Um, in Vietnamese, we call this lòng tiếng. So when we try trying to do it, you are copying the way that the speakers go up and down with a very beautiful intonation, and the way that they connect this word into another word, or we say it's like word connecting very naturally. So practice shadowing until you're satisfied with the result. Miss Jo, our instructor at Fatam High, did a very good job in shadowing, and here is an example from Miss Jo. Listen. When I was a kid, I thought Zootopia was this perfect place where everyone got along and anyone could be anything. Turns out. Real life's a little bit more complicated than a slogan on a bumper sticker. Real life is messy. We all have limitations. We all make mistakes, which means, hey, glass half full. We all have a lot in common, and the more we try to understand one another, the more exceptional each of us would be. But we have to try. How do you feel? Fantastic. How could she do it? Yes, she can do it, and I believe you can do it too. I strongly believe that you can practice and be good at speaking English with the shadowing method. And the method number three is to spend time practicing the pronunciation. The fastest way to learn listening and to learn speaking with. Very short time and with the great accent and with the great emotion, motivation to learn is to good at pronunciation at first. So when you're good at pronunciation, you have more confidence in speaking English, and it's much easier for you to understand the native speakers speaking English. Have you ever talked to the foreigners who's not English native speakers, someone from Japan or someone from India? Have you ever? And if yes, probably you have a hard time understanding them. If they have a big problem in pronunciation and with a very strong accent, so Vietnamese like it when speaking English with 
incorrect pronunciation. Strong Vietnamese accent is extremely uncomfortable for the listeners to understand you. It's uncomfortable listening to you and they probably don't want to listen to you or hearing you more. At that time, you will have a big problem in communication. So you will lose your confidence and probably you will think, I will stop speaking English. Hmm, that's a harmful thought. So to avoid it, try to spend time practicing pronunciation. No matter how it happens, my plan is to spend one hour a day to practice pronunciation. And if you made a plan to practice pronunciation, go ahead with that. Start your plan and end your plan with success. If you're still with me until now, thank you a lot for supporting me and, and listen to my talk. This is a good talk actually. So in this talk, I talked about how the brain works with the conscious mind and the unconscious mind and then I provide you three different methods to um, practice speaking. Number one is to listen actively and passively. Number two, straddling. Extract a short movie or videos and try to imitate exactly the, sa the same as the characters in the movie. And number three, Good at pronunciation. Spend time mastering it. Learn it at least one hour a day. When you understand how the brain works, you will know different methods of learning. But that's the three methods I have been practicing a lot for myself. Thank you for watching. And if you want to know more clips about English, remember to subscribe my YouTube channel with the button below. See you in the next video.